Taking a look at the Premier League table predictions that I made at the start of the season versus what actually happened. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. First off, I'm sorry for being absent. Life has been busy, work has been super busy. I do work full time on top of this and so I just haven't had a chance to make videos but I'm trying to find the time. It's really late here, I haven't had dinner yet but I was like, I need to at least record this so that I can make dinner and then edit it or something so that I can get something uploaded for you guys because I feel absolutely terrible so forgive me. I'm going on vacation in like a couple of weeks but I'll try to have a lot of stuff pre-recorded as much as possible so that there are no more gaps in content. I'm really excited about this video because I thought that it was something very interesting to do at the start of the season and so I've been waiting like nine months to be able to do the second part of this video. And basically, you have this video of me on Long Island at my parents' house talking about my Premier League predictions and what I thought was going to happen in the season. So I'm going to reflect on those predictions. Felt like I started off pretty strong. I got the champions right. I predicted for Man City to win even though I really wanted to predict for Chelsea to win and I got three out of the top four I said Man City at Chelsea Liverpool and Man United and it ended up being Man City at Liverpool Chelsea and Spurs I was a pretty surprised about United because let's rewind back to the start of the season they had just made a lot of really good signings so I did think that they were going to be able to build off of last season and improve uh, but that wasn't the case so that was pretty surprising for me and then Spurs of course had what I like to call the Antonio Conte effect and I think that that really helps them along with their January signings as well. In regards to Chelsea versus Liverpool Put yourself in my shoes. Chelsea had just won the Champions League. They just signed Romelu Lukaku. Things were looking very bright and I was thinking, yes, this is the year that we can finally close the gap. We've just won the Champions League. We've proved ourselves in Europe and now we're going to prove ourselves in the Premier League as well. Uh, it was very optimistic <laughs> to think that we could close such a big gap that we've had with Liverpool and City over the past four or five years. I do think that Chelsea had some issues that contributed to the the amount of games that they won and the points that they had. So that's a completely different video and I've been talking about it all season but I'm not going to get into that. But at the end of the day I don't think that Chelsea could have caught Liverpool or City and so I think that the ranking of City, Liverpool, Chelsea 100% makes sense. I was a bit off with Arsenal and Spurs. I predicted Arsenal to come in eighth, they came in fifth and I predicted Spurs to come in sixth and they came in fourth. Like I said, they really just surprised me. I think both teams made some major adjustments in this season that helps them and Manchester United just were not able to compete despite the brilliance of Cristiano Ronaldo. Taking a look at the bottom of the table, I'm pretty proud of myself for getting the relegation race right. Maybe that doesn't seem so astounding to you, but given the relegation race that we had unfold, which I 100% did not expect, I'm pretty proud of myself that I got the relegation battle right. Another fun fact, I predicted for Southampton to come in 15th and they actually did come in 15th. And my biggest flop prediction that I predicted for Leeds to come in 7th. 7th. I don't know what possessed me. I don't know why. I certainly did not see them coming in a relegation battle this season. I really rated Leeds at the beginning of this season and I thought that they were a really strong team to to be at least in the top half of the table. So I was surprised seeing them in a relegation battle, but for them to actually get 17th and I predicted that they were 7th. I don't know if anybody can beat that flop. Like, let me know in the comments if you made a prediction and it was actually, oh, there was a worse one than that because that was just so completely off. <laughs> other than that, I feel like it did pretty fair. Like, I didn't get any other team spot on, but I think that how I had them ordered more or less made sense. And so I'm excited to do another one at the start of this season and kind of see how I fare uh, next season as well. So let me know what your predictions were, how you guys did. And yeah, like I said, let me know what your biggest flop was because I really don't think that there's any beating mine. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I promise I'll have lots more content coming soon. And I have an exciting new segment uh, over the summer as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Hope you guys have a great day 
rest of your day, evening, whatever time you're watching this. And until next time, I'm out. Bye. Ooh.